I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! <laughs> Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Uh oh. Let's use your shotgun. I'm not used my shotgun yet. Oh my god. Jesus, he hit me. And I immediately almost died. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. <laughs> Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Elizabeth? You know what? What information was the last user? She gave us her ID. Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Go on. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What did you what say? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Oh! Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of species 37. This is why everyone is freaking out. So strange in me. There we go. Pilot should be warned. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus Hope. DI. I agree. What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Uh, what do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Thorian. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. <laughs> wow. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? 
The thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. Huh. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. How does he control people? Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Let's talk about Elizabeth. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, Biomedical Division. Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. Okay. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Okay, so this is going to standby mode. It's not completely bad. Let's go. Oh, you bastards. difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Um... Right, I put them on auto. remember the description is this place seems almost peaceful do you think the geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple the geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life it's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power this place seems almost peaceful do you think the geth were using this room as some kind they of did look like they were worshiping the geth blur the line between organic Let's and synthetic go. life it's 
natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. I was gonna take him out. Okay, where are we going again? Is this where we came from? No, there is not. It's the other side that we came from. So we might be on the right track here.
Where are we going? Oh, let's go up. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Hello, guests. Description scale too low. Let's see if we can do something about that. No! Whatever. Dr. Gamora, I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want samples for the samples for, or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Huh. What's here? Oh, sneaky. Alright, more weapons. We'll sort through our weapons stash soon. Let's save. I'll delete all these saves. Okay. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower. And the safety shot on the safety shot off kicks in if the PS gets above 34 but if the PSI not PS sorry PSI is in the 30 to 34 zone the door slums down with enough power to shear through a metal I-beam somebody fixed this before one of our team loses an arm in, the, in that thing oh got it got it this is what we're supposed to use to snap There we go. Okay. Now we're making good progress. Oh ho ho. <clears throat> Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Oh, Joker. Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. 
Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. <laughs> Protect the ship. At all costs, kill them. No, don't panic. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. All right. So we got the side mission. We've got to get thing down. Where? Oh, oh, decryption. There we go. <laughs> According to the data received from this console, the Geth are preparing for a major offensive in the Citadel space. If this information is accurate, they are massing a significant force somewhere in the Armstrong Nebula. Okay. Where are we going? Oh, back to the entrance that had the thing. The shield. Oh my god, where are we going? I think I'm lost. This sucks. I don't think this place is safe. You lied to me, woman. Talk to me. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, <clears throat> but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. All right, all right. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Huh. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for right. up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess. No more lying. No more lying, liar. Oh, this is where we went. Full circle. Okay, there's our ride. The Mako. Drive through them. Beautiful. Oh, a 
Armaker is getting tiny. You know what? I remember that annoying corporate dude. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogenic database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. Stay calm! You know what? We yeah, that's... this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zoo's hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I'll kill you for. Oh, we don't have to. You know what? They won't miss you either. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! You is dead. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. Ma'am. So what now, Commander? With all due respect, we didn't shoot him in the back. We shot him in the front. I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else I'm am sorry. I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. All right, I'll do it. I don't want to kill. I'll do what I can. I don't want to slaughter the Excellent. colonies. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip the Equip your grenade with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable the this will disable infected colonists without killing them. Okay. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find go. the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Okay. Uh, oh, before we go any further. Uh, equipment. 
take all where's grenade anti thorium Welcome, Lizbeth. Let's go take care of this thing. Oh my god. Why is my weapon not working? There we go. What the hell? Confront the colonists. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, hell. everything out no careful let's leave the colonists. no hitting the colonists even if the thorian makes them fire on us that's what the gas grenades are for very well command let's go all right let's save we can colonies left we've killed none let's see if we can let's see if we can go without killing anyone Why did it only take down one time?
still alive. Okay, more grenades. didn't kill anyone. I tried it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't! I won't! Ooh. Sorry, Fidang. Okay, Renegade Zero, Paragon 32. Right, because nobody died. Now, let's change it back. High Explosive. We just need to find this creature and determine what it, what it, he, what is that? Oh, hell. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic.
Oh. Nasty. Invaders. Green Your aside. every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I'll destroy you. You, know what? you gave I'll something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Let the colonies go. Stop speaking in silly riddles. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Okay. Your blood will be Oh, sabotage. Overload. Do we stay? That's disgusting. You're joking. You're joking.
Okay. Let's go. Another one. Omni tool. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, 
have three magic gels. Oh. Okay. Okay, where do we... Oh. Oh, she's blue now. I guess she's the real one. And those were clones. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. 
<laughs> I don't trust you. But you know what? Let's let's be nice. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I'm fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve. I, I served Matriarch Benezia when she allied herself with Saren. So did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. <laughs> Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. How is this possible? Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Ooh. So, should we trust? You know, let's trust her. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What is it? Cipher. And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Huh. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. Uh, there has to be some I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I'll be fine. 
she messed up my mind. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Alright, let's talk about Sovereign. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Huh. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. Huh. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. Damn. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Hmm. The Thorian. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Hmm. Its mind was awesome. Magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. <laughs> Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Uh, what should I do with you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Sure. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. This game gives you options to such murdering people. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exodus threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you. Medal of Heroism. Wow. Oh, there we are. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. Wow. 
You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. There you go, Sean. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. <sighs> Farewell, Commander. I wish you well. Gavin Hustle. What about the other weirdos? Oh, there's the Salarian tree. I never dude. thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What are your plans now? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Sniper. Nah. They're gonna be even better weapons down the line. Thank you for everything you did. You'll be dead without Thanks, me. Commander. It's great to be free again. It was hell, you know. Any honest thought hurt. Just like staring at the sun. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. You're savior. Well, I saved you. Ian Newstead, the dude in the tunnel. Free. I can't believe I'm free. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. Huh. It was awful. Finally, we have hope again. All right, we should get going. We're done here. Pharos. Man, that took two hours. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. Greta Reynolds. Thank you for freeing us. We're done here. Let's go home. Well, let's go back to our ship. Is that the way? Yeah, it is the way it should be. I believe I miss the Normandy so much. And that's the end of Ferris Field. Oh, Ferris. Is it Ferris or Ferris Field? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Good call. Decontamination. Get rid of any Thorian stank from us. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. <coughs> it 
It's that damn cipher. That is sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. <laughs> she said it could take a while. I needed the cipher. It's going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau Cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Ah, uh, no. you're right. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Better off the Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. <sighs> I help everyone, dude. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Okay. Bye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna end it here. Um... I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe to the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave any comments on what you think. I'm just gonna go now. Thank you. This video is presented by the Let's Roll Podcast. Link in description below. Follow us on all of our social media. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification button. See you in the next video.